There's a lot less clothing in here than I expected. What is this gonna cover? Oh, I've got a little piss. Oh good, glad it fits. <laughs> mm. Do you normally tuck in or do you untuck? What's formal? You know, they say mother is the hardest job in the world. They've never been a content creator. <laughs> So that much right now. Sometimes I get warm. My Amazon package comes late sometimes. I'm like, I gotta push my day off recording an extra day. <sighs> Dude, you know, I wanna be in my shoes. Well, that's a little depressing. <laughs> yeah, of course you did, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to put your guard on? you mind. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh God. That was the Scottish National. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Google Translate. We're gonna make haggis. You know what haggis is? Oh, I know. No. <laughs> you started that sentence real common. <laughs> I did. Oh, I know. Mm -mm. I know. I don't. That's for dang sure. Let me tell you in the form of sing song. Okay. Blood inside of a sheep's colon. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't need this anymore. No. <laughs> You oh! Now that you've beaten music, what's next for Brandon Ferris? <laughs> I won. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No, you don't. That'd be impressive, though. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I did? I'll stick with that. <laughs> what does Google Translate tell them? Uh, Google Translate is a great function um, for your business or for your friends. Uh, you Put, you put what you want, so if you want to, basically if you want to, if, if, so if there are words that you want to. <laughs> I ran the recipe on how to make haggis through Google Translate a bunch of times, and then I ran it through a bunch of different languages, including Scottish, and then back into English, and now we have to follow exactly what Google tells us to make, which will probably taste better than haggis. Have you seen it? I uh, no. You've never peered inside of a sheep? <laughs> no. Wait, is that what haggis is? What's ha what's ha what is haggis? You literally said it. Is that really it? I think it is. To me, it seems like a bowl of oatmeal wrapped in a sheep's bladder. I was so close. I did a bit. Ruben, do you know what haggis is? Uh, no. Um, I think you're right. I think it is sheep intestine wrapped in other stuff. You know what? Let's let Google Translate tell you. Haggis. Haggis. Oh, haggis, okay. Okay. A Scottish dish consisting of a sheep's or calf offal mixed with oatmeal seasoned and boiled in a bag. It is made from animal's stomach. Okay, it started bad with bagged oatmeal and then they made it worse. You had me at offal. Oh, <laughs> I don't care what Google says, what our translator says to do this, it's gonna taste better than whatever that is. Anything in a stomach. It go it's so ironic that you cook it in a stomach and then you put it back into it. <laughs> Circle of life, huh? Circle of life. Let's get started, shall we? The camera guy's nodding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we need. Come on. Step one, Cameron. Oi. Rinse the whole flesh with cold water. Rinse the whole flesh with cold water. Absolutely. The whole flesh. What? Ours or the animals? It didn't specify. Oh. I don't know what stomach we're using. Thank you for being a part of this video. Oh! The whole flesh. No! <laughs> we'll use a chicken because oh. turns out it's illegal to have like sheep stomach in America. That's the thing we're worried about. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> Nothing else that we want to ban other than sheep stomach. Yeah. They don't want people to hurt themselves. I understand. Opioids. Drugs. Weapons. Weapons. Sheepskin. Whoa, 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 whoa! You know what? I almost don't even want sheep in here. <laughs> we got a whole young chicken. He used to rap. <laughs> young chicken. <laughs> Parts of giblets may be missing. Whoa. No, I bought it for the giblets. Okay, it seems as though in this bag it is already rinsed with water. I I defrosted this thing in 10 minutes from frozen. So <laughs> I know what you're asking. How can you do that safely? Nope. You don't. We're gonna need it for later anyway. So ominous. Why? Like, why phrase it that way? Well, you, I don't... That's what I'm worried about. Oh, uh, what? That's not rinsed, Brandon. I'll allow it. It's so they can cry. I don't know. Yeah. I bought this four weeks ago. Where's it been? Rapidly defrosting. <laughs> okay, rinse. Rinse the flesh. <laughs> I gotcha. That's ever so gentle. That is rinsed. Other side. Thank you. Rinsed. What's the next step? 
I, oh, I ruined your phone. I hate it here. <laughs> Is that where the steps are? Yeah. Hey, you don't like need that, do you? Mm, no. No, no, no. Okay. Remove the excess fat and cut the trachea. Ooh, that got dark. Yeah. I've been looking to remove excess fat recently, and it's not going well. Hmm. So I won't ask mm. how to do that then. You don't seem to know what you're doing. I'm gonna be honest, this chicken looks pretty lean. Well, except for all of this garbage. Not the chiplets. You don't need this. You can have 1% body fat if you just get rid of whatever's in here. All this stuff? Yeah. I've said that. I've always asked how much is that all this way. I'm digging in the wrong hole. <laughs> Are you jumping forward in steps, by the way? No, I'm removing excess fat. Okay. Where is fat? In your <laughs> In your butt. In your butt. <laughs> in my neck. I know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. You oh. smell that too, huh? Oh my lord. That's what happens when you put it in the danger zone. That's that 10 minute defrost you're smelling. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude. You know what's funny? That probably smells 10 times better than actual haggis. <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> Did you know that our editor is from Scotland? That's <laughs> why we're doing this. We're making Aiden. This is what you look like. Hey, oh, oh I'm from Scotland. That's what they sound like. What is, see, we're already. <laughs> It is so cold inside of this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't defrost at all. It just cooked the outside. Yeah. You know what? Let's just say that it is... Don't. Lean. I think so. Is that the neck? That's the neck. Remove the trachea. Oh. Whoa, oh. dude. What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Everything you're doing is just wrong. I have to, have to remove it. That worked. That's its backbone. Oh, so no trachea? No. You're such a help. You ever made beer chicken? Get it off. What? Get it off. I'm not. I'm not dealing with this today. I wasn't even putting the chicken on it. Slap it down. Okay. That ain't just like mom used to be. Grab you by the heels. Well, okay. Oh. You cut off some excess fat. <laughs> there we go. I'm following steps. Tracheas. You know Let me help. Yeah, please. Gotcha. Ruben, would you mind helping, please? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you get that trachea cut. Gotcha, bud. Shouldn't be too much of an issue with what you got going on over there. How am I cutting everything but the trachea? <laughs> the chicken's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on the cutting board so we don't get any juice on the table. Yeah. Step three, place in a good sized pot and cover it with cold water. Was that an actual normal step? That was the most normal step I've ever read in my life. Oh my gosh, easy to do. He blindly goes searching for a pot. And that is how it's done. I live here and I hate oh, coming wait. here. <laughs> you opened the wrong things. Always cook with a partner. All right. Here we go. I'm ready for the water now. <laughs> oh, you got it. He's too young to bathe by himself. <laughs> oh, the smell. You can't get salmonella from touching a dead chicken and then touching your butt, right? Just don't touch your butt. Like anymore? Like right now, don't, you get your finger away from your butt right now. I don't know where I put my fingers. Okay, dude. <laughs> You're like a Demogorgon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound Demogorgons make. I've watched enough Stranger Things to know. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> right in the jablots. <laughs> I thought you said I couldn't touch my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being gentle. You're getting none of the chicken. Oh. I'm just now realizing this is probably, I don't want to be in here. <laughs> I got other pots. You made your soup, now sleep in it. <laughs> I got, a, I have smaller pots. The smell is like nothing you could ever imagine. Yeah, it's totally just the chicken. <laughs> when? All right, so you wanna go ahead and put this in a regular sized pot and we'll go ahead and boil it up. Is that the next move to boil? I think so. Oh! Who knows? I'm just assuming that's the next step, Cameron. Oh, don't point me. I wasn't. <laughs> Where's your pots? Ah, perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> He's in the pot like this. Wait, wait, sit, sit, sit. <laughs> Brandon, look. Oh God, get out, Brandon! I already know that we're gonna run into some situation where that pot's not big enough. It's 
smart move. Thanks. Cold water, please. Cold water. Just in the pot. Is yep, right. anywhere you want. Just in the pot. You put that in the pot, and I will be good to go. Don't be chicken, just put it in the pot. You look dry. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm doing okay. Win. Win. Thank you. No problem. Easy. Just check on? Uh, salmonella in my butt. <laughs> uh, the lungs are leaking, so stay submerged with a plate or cover. Back in your pot. I can't. Back in my pot. Mm. It's on the rules. Your lungs are leaking. It's just a sigh of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> what were you looking for? Plate. Oh, okay. Perfect. Done. We are flying through this. Uh, bring to a boil and wash your face regularly. Oh, I have been. Good boy. <laughs> bring to a boil. Bring to a boil. I got the what? <laughs> Does that sound like a rocket taking off to you? Sounds like, yeah, something's like something about to fire out. Did you put that on the lowest setting? I did. <laughs> Why is your pot smoking? <laughs> He just needs to take the edge off. <laughs> that will eventually boil. You washed your face, correct? Simmer gently for two hours. That's... You're having trouble with that step? I got a ham for two hours? You want to touch the chicken again? No, you don't want to ham for two hours. You want to play catch or something? I got time. It's a... Hey, 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 hey. This is supposed to be simmering. You're so right. It's so bad already. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken started off bad. What are you rinsing? Ah! Instant hot water. Instant boiling, dude. <gasps> Instant boiling water? Oh, what are we doing? Kill two birds with one. Oh, I am so sorry. That is disgusting. Okay, so you remember the bit where you keep splashing my face? No. This is not one of those times. Instant boiling water. Um. Oh, ow! Oh, oh. I could really go for some haggis. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! Is it weird that my right eye won't shut correctly? Not even a little bit. I thought you were just flirting with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm flirting with salmonella here. <laughs> Salmonella and pink eye. <coughs> I fly with my music. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do when you hear Scotch music. That's why they march into battle with this stuff on. Did it simmering? Oh yeah, that is the only, <laughs> it's the only level of heat we have. Oh, beautiful. Now this is a secret step that Google Translate won't tell you. Put salt in your water and it boils faster. Yeah, that water would have tasted nasty if we didn't season it. <laughs> You're welcome. Good idea. Actually, put a bunch of salt in already. You already took a bath with this thing. It's the sweat, what not your that? the sweat, not like just your because I touch my what? <laughs> yes, actually. Why are you so defensive? That's not you don't have to do that. Why? You want me to touch your butt? You are flirting with me. <laughs> uh, while that simmers gently. For two hours, the next step is the rod will sag and sink. The rod will sag and sink. Got it. I'm glad you understand Scottish because I have no clue. You know, watching that actually made my rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, what's the matter? Rod sunk? <laughs> oh, you sunk my rod. <laughs> <laughs> you sunk my rod. My eye feels like it's getting swollen. Yeah, a little bit. It just looks irritated. Like me, right now, what's the next step? Oh, the next step's real good. Taste throughout. I'll get you a spoon. Thanks. As a good chef does. Mm, yeah, I figured I'd be doing this part. It's boiling, just. <laughs> Ooh, it's boiling. <laughs> Tastes like the water fountain at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that I'm actually part Irish? That's just to trigger people in the comment section. <laughs> Are you ready? I have flies circling me. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I have flies are ready for you, dude. <laughs> They're just waiting. Die, die. I heard a vulture outside waiting for you. Claw on the doorknob. Are you ready for the next step? Oh, as ever. Oof. Remove the meat from the pan with your fingers or a slotted spoon and rinse the inside in cold water to remove the onion. When the heck did we use onion? All right. 
Did you put an onion in there? If Google says I did, then maybe I did. I don't know. I don't know. I listen to Google. Uh, while I'm doing this, can you please just pull the chicken out with your fingers? Oh, yeah, I'll jump on that step. Where's your slotted spoons? Slotted spoons. <laughs> Ooh! That's been a break. <laughs> Gentle. Gently. 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 That's actually gonna just work? Okay. Is that one of those magic spoons? <laughs> <laughs> I still <can't> you. <laughs> we are supposed to wash our face throughout. So I appreciate you continuing with the tradition. Oh god. This meal is <laughs> nothing but tradition. <laughs> oh no. Oh no what? <laughs> Honestly nothing, Brandon. I, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Rinse inside with cold water? I don't care for this that much. Mm, okay. And it is full. <laughs> Nothing we do at this point is edible. <laughs> oh yeah, as a good cook, you always taste as you go along. I was thinking you have to wash your face throughout. Oh! <laughs> That's so funny, we have two different ideas. Chefs are so quirky and different. One chef's clean, one's messy. I'm the clean one. I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next step, put it in a bowl and let it cool. Oh, dude, let it chill? Yeah. I just every so confidently walking. <laughs> oh, a bull? Yeah, for sure. You got it. Don't hold it like that. <laughs> it kind of looks like it's a dog that has an underbite. <laughs> just just growling. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you can get that fixed. You put your cheaper in the U.S. I'm sure. He's got one. One good eye. Oh, pour the cooking liquid in a small cooking pot and return to the stove to seduce about 500 liters of product. Seduce? That's what it says. I think I got this part. Unbelievably hot. As an American, what's a liter? Uh, a, a liter is someone who can, is in How front of the pack and tells them what to do. Um, what is 500 liters in America? Wrong. Make it American for me. <laughs> oh, never mind. Here. What do you mean here? No, don't I hear? Cameron! Go ahead! Don't be rude! Taste it! Taste your creation! It's on the floor back there! Yeah! Alright, so deuce 500 liters? Yes. Um. Dang, broth. Uh, don't. Why so salty? We should hook up. Um, uh, you're. Oh. Uh, my place is around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting off an odd vibe. What? <laughs> This is my seduction tactic. Uh -huh. I have a car, we should sleep together. <laughs> oh, it's already on. Good. Wow. Good thing. Forgot. Oops. That was good seduction. I know. My rod is um, sink, sa sunk, sink. Sunk dog. Boy, I can't help but notice that this is just chicken. <laughs> so fast. There's <laughs> <laughs> not any other ingredients. There's, huh? not, there's not one more ingredient in here. I like how we started immediately with okay, how to make haggis. Chicken. It's just chicken. Immediately if, wrong. If he just wanted chicken, Scotland people. Yeah. I think Google must be American. Because I don't Oh, oh, I guess I got you covered. No. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Uh, while the log is reducing finely, chop the cook cooked hearts and lungs. Oh, so there is more. Okay. Good thing we removed the giblets because we need the heart and lungs now. While the log does what? Oh my god, that's actually my, yeah. The liver? Kidney? I think this is the bladder that we put the haggis in. <laughs> while the log is reducing finely. Chop. So while the log is reducing. I will reduce the log. Where's my axe? Honestly, listening to your seduction thing. <laughs> my rod has logged. <laughs> we need a log. I'll be right back. Okay. Did we ever pull out the lungs? You don't know, do you? You were watching this whole time, you still don't know. What is that? Mm. Is he chopping down one of my trees back there? Okay, if I know anatomy at all, there's gotta be a second one of these. <laughs> He's like, oh God! I would just stop watching. I would just, you can, you could turn, go watch Mr. Beast. I was actually chopping right here, up there. And I go to pull it down and it just breaks off in a completely separate spot. We need to re simmer, reduce it. What? What? Is that an actual tree, Brad? It's, it's, it's a log. I'm gonna be honest with you, I will do anything for this video other than touch <laughs> that chicken. 
Well, can you do something? Your riz is overflowing. No! Ew, it formed a thing! Where did you get the, the stick? Um, what, what the log did you do? While the log is reducing, it seems as though you... Reduced it or I reduced it already. I think so. All right. I've assembled what I assume to be... <laughs> <laughs> three body parts. Good. That resemble a heart and lungs. Yeah. So, no. uh, finally chop that. You are better at chopping than I am. You know damn well. Imagine I'm scratching my eye. Cut the flowers into small pieces. Yep. No. What? No. What? Uh-uh. You've I'll... reduced enough. I'll be right back. I know, and that's what I don't want. I'll n I'm not. You are. What do you mean, damn, because I'm not. Be right back. Thanks. <laughs> Later, dog. It does say that we do need to wash our face regularly, so I think we should spray him with the hose when he comes in. Ah! You washed your face yet? I'll sit now, thank you. Good. You know what's funny? What? Doesn't look like a flower. We're out of flowers. That's part of cooking, right? You sometimes have to improvise. I wonder why we're out of flowers. You just have them sticking out of here. <laughs> Covered in dough. Oh. Uh -huh. There wasn't enough to actually chop. I have been it. Unless you live in Scotland, then beware of people making sheep stuff. Making sheep. You know what's great? I, with this recipe, I don't think we ever have to worry about sheep coming into haggis at all. No. That is a full tree. Sometimes you can improvise while cooking. In a large bowl, mix together the suet, pepper, and spices. Large bowl. Got it. S U E T. Lar yeah. Go ahead. Large bowl for me. Large bowl. Under the sink. Good choice. Large bowl, Cameron. Large bowl. Large bowl. Large bowl. Tiniest cabinets, we have large bowls. <laughs> First try. Oh, we have to mix the sweat, pepper, and spices. Oh, it looks like I've been working a little harder than someone else. Uh, I chopped down a tree. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. Put, put, put my flowers. Put my flowers. <laughs> Don't touch my flower. Get away my flower. Pepper and spices. Oh, I learned this one. Pepper. Was not prepared <laughs> for that. Pepper. I like my stuff seasoned. Spices coming hot. Got that in that third one. Okay, nutmeg. It's just ginger. Okay. <laughs> Which, ironic, I too am from Ireland. Boom. <laughs> oh, it makes like a roux. Oh. That's like a brown sugar. Hey, enjoy, man. Try that. Well, yeah, every good chef. No, it's already on your finger, in fact. You already Taste have... throughout. All right. Big man. <laughs> okay. Don't let those stain your Invisalign. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, I hate you. It was so good. It was. Oh, I mean, you bad. didn't even try it. It was bad. bad. <laughs> Measure how much stock is left over from cooking the chicken and make up to one liter with cold water. Again, oh, liters. Make it American. Uh, make one liter of what? One liter of that stuff. Yeah, just one liter of it. Measure how much stock is left over. How much you think that is? A potful. Okay, and then <laughs> make up one liter with cold water. So we need a liter. If we don't have enough, you add cold water. Well, this was 500 liters from last step. So, see, this is why we don't use the metric system. Right, dumb. That's a liter. That's one of the 500 with cold water. Oh, okay. Oh. This is a nightmare so far. Oh, the whole thing? The, the recipe. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. It doesn't look like haggis yet. I don't know what haggis looks like. All I know is it doesn't look like that. Okay, you know what? Pivot. Pivot? The chicken mm -hmm. is the sheep butt. So, okay, we just gotta, mentally we gotta replace, I see, okay. Well, then it looks just like haggis. <laughs> in that case, the next step, stir into the haggis mixture. Where's our haggis mixture? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, think, I gotcha, I gotcha. Here, Beautiful. look at this seasoned heart lung. Stir the haggis. You're doing great. <laughs> you know I don't speak Scottish. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, you deep fry these and those are nuggets. Oh, I forgot there's a little seasoning in there. A little seasoning. <laughs> so technically, we're not eating the chicken. Okay. We're eating what's in the chicken. Cool. These things. Redemption. Boom, Shove back on track, that easy. Shove that down the trachea. Mm-hmm. Okay, to test the sauce. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a before step. Maybe. Cook a tablespoon of the mixture for two to three minutes and enjoy. Add salt, black pepper, or just pepper if needed. <laughs> okay. All right. To the sauce. 
We're not gonna touch the pepper thing. Gotcha. Um, cook that up, a little, little skill. Cook that up, we'll give it a little taste. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for you to taste that, I I'm jealous. I will let you do it. So jealous, dude. Guests first. Please. You worked so hard chopping all of my foliage. <laughs> you deserve it. Honestly, uh, I feel like I've been stealing all the steps. I think you should go ahead and you the head chef. I'm just the sous chef. Sous chef. Sous chef. Yeah. And you need to learn, thus trying uh, chicken. Ah, gotcha, okay. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, a tablespoon mixture and enjoy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, the enjoy part's gonna be tough. You like it medium rare? Yes, please. <clears throat> no, yeah, I saw everything. You what? Know oh, there's only one piece. You know? There's so many more flies. Yeah, I have my misaligning, I can't do it. And then you're gonna have to beat this with your tongue real hard to get it done. <laughs> tongue and roof of mouth is now new teeth. Alrighty. <laughs> mm. Don't waste it. That is Say it. So peppery. Black pepper or just pepper? It was ginger, that's what I'm tasting. Like a ton of ginger. That is the only seasoning we use. Well, that and sweat. Oof. You got this. Mmm, I'm fighting through, bud. I really am. Spoon the mixture of soaked haggis. Again, it feels like we're working backwards here. How to make haggis, step one. You know haggis, right? Yeah. Do that first. Have haggis? Have, have haggis and then profit. Spoon the mixture of soaked haggis and washed beef stocking. Hold on. Yeah. Note that the filling will expand during cooking, so it should be tight enough to leave a little on the east side. This is what we get for assuming the steps. Right. Huh. Since I tried the last step, guess whose turn it is? How's your beef stocking? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, soaking up all the haggis mixture. <laughs> I'd rather eat the branch. Is it weird that it smells good to me? It does smell very good. It does. It's basically ginger chicken or a Scottish person. <laughs> oh my bad. I'm from Ireland, I can say that. Yeah. I'm slowly moving myself more and more into Ireland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was born in Ireland. I was born in Ireland. My mother's Irish. <laughs> I am a leprechaun. My mother's Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cooked and uh, it's good, I tried it. Did you? Yes. Did he try it? All right. Okay, when the haggis is the desired size, squeeze out the excess air, break up with, tie it with a string, and cut off with scissors. Squeeze out the excess air. Got it. Oh! oh what are you doing? No, no, no. What are you doing? I don't honestly have any idea. <laughs> there's a tree in your kitchen. It's obvious we, we don't have an idea what we're doing. Oh, there's the trachea. Break up with. It's not you, it's me. We should see other people. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, I need my key back. <laughs> Tie it with a string and cut it off with scissors. Easy. String. 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 I'm getting more and more sad as I go. <laughs> string. String. Strain! God, they are a small but proud people. They are an industrial people. They use every part of the kill. Such an industrious people. <laughs> I would know. I am Ireland. <laughs> I've tied off the chicken. Okay, what? Tied it off. We're... I'm assuming for tying it up, it's gonna be a little weird. <laughs> Tie it with the string. Done. I BDSM'd it. You cut it off with scissors. Oh, the string. The string, the bud. string. Tie off the new bung end and continue weighing. I just want someone to make merch that just says bung. I'll ask, what's a bung? What's a bung? Well, you know what a bung hole is, don't you? That's what I was touching earlier. That's yes. Oh. Smell your fingers. <clears throat> mm, bung. <laughs> and that's bung. So do what with bung? Tie off the new bung end. You just made the new bung end. Tie off the new bung end and continue weighing. 50 liters. That's, <laughs> that's two metrics. Yep. <laughs> that is two metric systems. Freeze the haggis as a spare. Yeah, so fr freezer. Yeah. Freezer. Freezer. <laughs> freezer. Yes, with all my... Thank you. This cooking thing is easy, <laughs> Build a new bung. <laughs> <laughs> I got bone juice. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How's your rod? <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you intend on being the bung? Well, to me, Brandon, that would be a bunger. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce the haggis a few times with a needle before cooking. Mm, I couldn't find a needle. Pierce. Oh. No, Brandon. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's nice to put a name to the bum. <laughs> Didn't we have a knife around here? Yeah, what'd you do? Oh my god. It was a bum knife earlier. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this going to deflate the new bung? It wanted air out of it anyway. Oh, I love it when a recipe comes together. Please be the last step. It's not. Place in a pan of cold water and bring to a boil. That's not how water works. Uh, another cooking tip. Use the pan that you previously used to keep those extra juices and sauces. Don't waste any the flavor. That's... Ho, ho. Oh, with cold water, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. All right. Oh, so that's what that feels like. Still go. Oh, you got it? Oh, man, I'm sorry I was doing that to you. <laughs> yeah, man, that's pretty awful. It was so much funnier when it happened to you. Uh -huh. Okay, and then we let it simmer for one to five to two hours. The metric system doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, you got a little bit of, got a little bit of water on you. You got some schmutz, bud. That, don't use that. What? Come on, dude. Okay, while we wait, when ready, the internal temperature should read at least 74 degrees Celsius. Not in America, it won't. No, sorry, it's gonna read 115. Quick maths, um, Fahrenheit. 165 <clears throat> degrees. You trying to get me sick? <laughs> when I eat this bun, <laughs> it better be cooked to an internal temperature. Of, of 74 degrees Scotland. There we go. And we'll not eat raw bung. Get <laughs> your finger out of my face. <laughs> we'll not eat raw bung. <laughs> my depth perception is really <laughs> <off>. <laughs> I don't think you ever need to point like this for any reason. <laughs> we'll not eat raw bung. <laughs> <laughs> Just bung. You know what the problem was? The bungy cord. Uh, where's he gonna chill? Chill. Bung in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your bung's overflowing. No! <laughs> okay, in the last step, mm -hmm. thank God, or whoever Scottish people pray. Served with mashed potatoes and Swede or neeps and tatties. With a Swede <laughs> on the side? What's a neep and tatty? Neeps and tatties. Neeps and tatties, what mum used to make. <laughs> oh, that's right. He did it, I say, he did it, like, did it, switch it over, like, spun it. So in the bung or <laughs> separate. I'm... All righty then. This is our haggis, and these are our neeps and tatties. Perfect. <laughs> I think. Last step was enjoy, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> Last one to eat is a rotten bun. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a uh, f uh, f uh, violent smell. <laughs> <laughs> that smells, uh, dare I say, bad. Let's try it. No. <laughs> First time trying haggis. <laughs> might vomit later. It's on my bucket list. Oh, that is. Oh, bad. That tastes like a tree. I want to say if this isn't my culture, so I'm thinking maybe I was just raised with it. It's just got a different. It's got a very uh, gamey flavor to it. Mm. Like like gamey raw horrible. You're turning red by the way. I'm not used to raw bum. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's Google Translate. Uh, if you want to see more Google Translate. Don't worry your brilliantly bondaged bung. I, <laughs> I've made a playlist. You can also buy our new bung merch. Yep, yeah, exactly. Down below. Uh, don't forget to bung this video. <laughs> Hit that bung button. <laughs> that bun, slam that bung button, please. <laughs> Anything you would like to add? Yes. Um, ass, always. Uh, have, a but, have a butter day than you did uh, today, because you had haggis. <laughs> My throat's closing up. <laughs> yeah, I think you're allergic to chicken, by the way. Was I wearing a hat this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> the water was hot.